Hi, this is Leonardo, and I'm going to show you some of the new additions and updates to the build modules. As I mentioned before in one of the Facebook posts, uh, I wanted to make uh, mainly small updates to the modules, fixing uh, small details and, and also implementing some requests that I, that I had. And even though when I didn't want to create new modules yet, there is a new module. It's a it's a very simple one. It's just a a tactic case sustain release envelope. Mm, nothing special, uh, but it just has the the hitting nature of uh, of spank. And as well, you can find it in two modes: in the soft mode and the hard mode. And well, I want to show you next is the small update as well to VESEC uh, what you may see here is that VESEC has now a master tune control so what's special about this control is is that it's not possible to randomize it you can just randomize anything here and if you get a sound let's say I got that one and for some reason I want to keep it and use it without uh, affecting much the rest of my stuff. I can just retune it. It's uh, one octave up, one octave down. And let's try another. For example, that one. I want to retune it. And now it, it it fits again with the with my previous melody. Okay, and this is the original. And that's it with the Vesak. The next thing that I that I implemented was a, a few changes into the low pass gate Julste, which uh, now it has a range control in a, in a previous video I talk about uh, how the low pass gate behaves different depending on the kind of gate that you input in in, in order to, to get the most out of the low pass gate you needed to pre-process somehow your gate now it's possible to do the same thing but within the module itself for example i know that uh, sec3 outputs uh, a signal which is it's about uh, five volts i think i don't remember exactly but maybe the pulse matrix is the one that outputs five volts uh, the thing is that now now you can change the for example how how uh, what's the range of your of your gate? So what happens now that I'm reducing the range is that the gate is not opening completely. And if I increase the range, it's gonna it's gonna open more. And one thing more that is implemented is its offset on the negative side. Before we had odds offset in the positive side, where we can do. This, this kind of sound, but now we can uh, put offset on the other direction. For example, now it's not open it at, it's not opening at all, and we can use the range to to adjust or to compensate. So I think it becomes mo much more flexible and, and gives you uh, more more opportunities to to play with, with the low-pass gate. Next improvement, which is also a small improvement, it's in the Vriatus. What I did here, I uh, regrowed all the code here, and it has it gives you the, the same the same behavior, but uh, it it improves a lot in 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 terms of aliasing. Now introduces less aliasing. 
still you may hear a little bit but this is much much better than the previous than the previous algorithms so just to show you I'm gonna have a sine wave here and let's try the fold Russia as well. Same behavior, less aliasing. And the next part that I want to show you it's a uh, some under the hood improvements to Caudal. Uh, I hope you don't notice anything. It's just gonna run uh, slightly faster, and also the behavior of the energy control it's it's improved, so uh, it produces more variation. Other thing that this change is is how the the heat is implemented. So it's, you're you're gonna get uh, uh, different states with different velocities, different positions. So let's try to. Okay, now we have it in chaotic mode. And yeah, now it's much, much better to visualize it using a thing thing from JW modules, which is a quite nice addition. Other small change, it was in the in the flux processor, which I which I. Intent I regularly use with the outputs of Caudal, and it's uh, now we have a master clock input. If you don't want to use uh, the every every channel separate, you can just send a single clock, and, and, and all of them they're they're gonna receive it. So you have to drag less virtual wires. And yeah, you can see here that I, I, I have it in the sample and hold, and it's just uh, repeating the positions, and you can use the followers to, to try to adapt these signals. And also, of course, range controls and everything that it provides you. So that's it. These are all this, the small improvements and they're going to be available in the version 0 0.5.5 of my mo of my modules uh, that I'm going to release in some hours and yeah subscribe to this channel and if you like these modules and you haven't uh, sent me a donation you can do so I will really appreciate it thank you and goodbye